The other day, I walked into the Lego store and saw this set. It, it was called the Andrea's Theater School, and, and it is based off of uh, the, I guess, series L Lego Friends. Now, I know what it looks like, and trust me, it's not what you think it is. I did not buy this friend set because I am looking to collect friends. I swear, I, 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 I didn't. I, I I, I didn't. I, I actually, you know that by seeing the thumbnail, so I think you'll trust me. So I see a theater set, and recently those who know know that a Muppet minifigure series was just recently re released. I think I know this better than most people because I bought all of them. So I saw this theater and thought, what would Kermit do? See? What would K Kermit do? And there's a little Kermit up there. It says it on the back. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you a bit of how I made uh, a custom Muppet Theater with some exclusive stickers uh, and loads of other stuff. So first, I'm going to ask you all to smash that subscribe button as we are gunning for 50,000 subscribers and we're going to get right on into it. Now, starting off, I am a huge fan of the Muppets. Like, I have a problem. Here's some of my collection. I've shown this in all the Muppet videos I do because I just like to prove to people like, I am a big Muppet fan. And quite honestly, my dream Lego set is for Lego to do an official Muppet theater. So I'm petitioning Lego right now, do a set the size of, say, the Home Alone house as a Muppet theater. I will buy 10 of them. I promise. Okay, 10 might be a little much. I'll, I'll, I'll buy like three. But either way, uh, I wanted to see what I could do with this to make it the best I can. It was a great set. It came with some great pieces and features that I think really would work well for a Muppet theater. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you guys all what that looks like. Uh, we're going to get into it right now. Okay, so now we obviously have the stickers on. I'll discuss those more a bit in a second. First, what I want to do, and I'll, I'll tell you how I actually did them. I, I want to get rid of all this blue. We have a lot of blue around here. I'm not a big fan of it. We'll have some of it hinted in. Uh, but I, I really think the red is better, so I have a handful of these bricks I got from a pick a brick a long time ago. They're plain red. I was trying to do maroon. It just didn't work out well. It doesn't match the curtains. It doesn't match really any of the colors, so just a flat red is going to work better in my opinion, and I'm gonna go try it out. Um, I also got out all my gold parts, because I feel like they would, they would work better, because the Muppets, they like gold, right? So we're going to work our way down, and right away, this looks way different than the actual plan design from the hyperlapse and everything. Um, we have a lot of different details, and I'm going to dive into them. And first, the big question you all are going to be asking is, uh, Lo Logan, how, how did you get all of these amazing little uh, Muppet stickers on there? And, and to that, I have to credit my mom. My mom made these amazing looking uh, sticker things. She has this like, special machine, I believe, called a Cricut um, that, that can like make little stickers which is really cool. Uh, so first up on the top, we had this really like plain white brick here. So we have the Muppets logo there. Uh, and then I chose some of my favorite Muppet movies. First, uh, one of my first what Muppet movies I watched, it was one of my favorite, the 2011 one, just an iconic movie. Uh, and then we have the original, of course, I had to put that as one of the ones we do. Uh, and then uh, and another amazing one, the Muppets Take Manhattan, just an iconic movie directed by Frank Oz. Uh, really good. Uh, so, so you're noticing a few things right off the bat. Like, where is all the blue that was up here? Now, I replaced it with red uh, and gold. Ironically, I didn't have any gold plates because I was just going to do that, but I found these little studs, uh, so it ended up working out well. We also have a little lamppost here. I used some gold bricks down on the floor level. We also have the Muppet Show right there at the entrance instead of using whatever stickers they gave. And at the top, we have those little gold uh, ice cream pieces. Uh, so that's there. That's kind of cool. Uh, and then at the front, we have one of Beaker's clones uh, accepting tickets. So if you want to go up and they, they have tickets there um, right here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then you can, of course, enter the theater, uh, theater. I probably should have changed the doorknobs. But honestly, it works just fine. And as a whole, this thing on a street, it looks kind of dumb, like from literally any angle other than the front, unless you open it up, obviously, which is what we're going to do. Uh, but it's still cool nonetheless. Now, with that said, there is a basic way we have to get set up with this. So first off, you have to open this up and you right away are greeted by loads and loads of details. Uh, but first, what you're going to want to do is set up the band down at the bottom. Uh, so what we're going to do, you have animal there already. Uh, you're going to want to put the piano in. And then right on the piano, you could have Ralph here. Uh, you can also put in Janice, who is right here. She comes with her guitar already. Uh, and then many of you are probably wondering, where is Animal's drums? Uh, well, I will put them right here. Uh, and you are also probably wondering, Janice comes with a microphone too, right? So there you go. Microphone. You have a full band set up. Unfortunately, obviously, we're missing Dr. Teeth, Zoo, Floyd, lots of other main band members. Uh, but you do have this row of seats which you can put that came with the set. They do not have studs on them, but you know, they are for audience. You could throw minifigures in. Uh, and then of course we have some of the great designing that really just shows 
how this set was really like felt like it was based for the Muppets. You have the red curtains, you have the beautiful gold up top, uh, you also have the stuff behind Animal, uh, and you have some nice stickering that makes it really feel like a theater, and you of course have the boxes. Uh, now infamously, you have Statler and Waldorf. So Waldorf is the short one and Statler is the tall one. Obviously some of, uh, you know, the best Muppet amazing characters, the first ever meme or troller people, uh, and they're absolutely great. And then we obviously have the curtain. Uh, and, and before I show you everything that we have behind the curtain, I want to go into the back and, and show you everything else. So we obviously have the main plates for the backgrounds, which I'll get into in a second, but first, I gave each person their own little section. Next up, there was barely any room for the chef himself, let alone for a kitchen, uh, like he's just sticking out of here, kind of. Uh, but I did throw in his tomato accessory, and I also threw in a little chicken piece I found. Nothing entirely crazy. I was going to give him a carrot, but, you know, it didn't have a face, so I feel like it wouldn't have worked. And then moving down, this is where I would have put Scooter, if they actually made him. Scooter is a Muppet, and we'll show you him in a little bit. He is in one of the balcony seats. Um, but they just get Beaker backstage. He's subbing in for Scooter today. Scooter's out sick. Um, he, he's zooming in, uh, and I'll show you that in a second. And then moving down, we obviously have the toilet. This came with the set. I just left it in because I thought it was funny and humorous. And then moving over here is actually a little area I tried my best to recreate. There's not a lot of space, uh, and quite frankly, it's weirdly proportioned. Uh, but I tried my best. And it is the backstage area. So I did make this little desk. I just took a simple brown brick. I put a little phone on it. I put a little uh, mug for Kermit. This is where Kermit basically manages the Muppet Show. Um, and, and, you know, it's great. And there's another feature. I'll show you how that works. Uh, and there was actually this bust that came in the series. It, it is Ralph's friend. It is Beethoven. Uh, and he talks like he's an actual talking character in the show. That's why if anyone was wondering why he has a second face... Like, like, he has, like, a more calm face. That's because he's actually a character. Like, this is a whole separate character from the Muppets. In the Muppet Palisades action figure set, there's actually a little section where you can put a be the Beethoven bust uh, that is in the background for a majority of the show. So that's pretty cool. And then finally, in this corner over here, we have a little area for Bunsen. This was a broom closet. I just figured it was cooler here. And then we have an accessory area here. I didn't really change this up. This is just a changing room. It didn't have to be anything incredibly special. And then, of course, up here, we have Miss Piggy's dressing room. She came with a little area uh, and they attached to it had a lipstick and hairbrush I'm like you know this is perfect for Piggy we put a poster there looks great could not have been a better area for her now real quick in the balcony here we do have Scooter zooming in to watch I guess from the balcony I had Beethoven up here originally but I thought he worked better downstairs uh, now here is the theater aspect of I guess the set uh, so it's a pretty simple one. We just have to twist the little things here uh, and like that we have a whole background now Unfortunately, I could not really come up with a way to do like the full background of the, of the Muppets Like I've seen some people do because I just don't have the bricks for it honestly uh, But we have a little scene going on stage here. Uh, we of course have a uh, Kermit and Fozzie, they're doing a little skit. They're doing a sketch. Um, Waldorf is, of course, bored with it. Uh, and then we have uh, Camilla the Chicken, who Gonzo has fallen out of the stage equipment uh, to try and find. And I love this. This is instead of the little cloud they have. I just attached that to the background. Uh, and then we had Gonzo instead, just, just flying down, which is just such a quintessentially Gonzo thing. Uh, and, and I absolutely love. In fact, if you want, you could actually take out this piece uh, and this is basically what it looks like. I think it works perfectly. You could really do it for anything. I think a particularly good feature, if you want to have, say, the Muppet sign that lowers where Gonzo comes in, like, honks his nose or whatever uh, at the beginning of each Muppet you show theme or does, like, something crazy, you know, you could do that technically with that. And that's very cool. What do you get when you cross a penguin with a pig? A polar boar! Ah, waka waka! And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the closest thing for now that we have to a Lego Muppet theater. Uh, and obviously, it's not perfect. It has problems 100%. It is still obviously primarily a Lego friend set. What I want to see, of course, is a full-on Muppet theater, one of the greatest pieces of media I believe ever. I'm a huge Muppet fan. Kermit, you know, and the Swedish Chef. This, this is my favorite minifigure Lego has ever made, period. Purely for sentimental reasons. It's also a great minifigure. Uh, Kermit is also great. Again, so many amazing minifigures here. Uh, you have the band down there. Obviously, there needs to be a series too. If not, just a theater uh, where they are able to do everything. Because this is not enough. We need Sam Eagle. We need the rest of the band. Uh, and quite honestly, if there are no brickheads of Kermit and Miss Piggy in the near future, I am going to freak out and start a riot. So, so Lego, please, please do it. Uh, thank you. 
Overall, for all my Muppet fans out there, this is an amazing solution to getting a Muppet theater. I am confident we are going to get one in the very near future, seeing how well this minifigure series did. Uh, and let me know down in the comments if you want to see more Muppet-related videos. I am happy to make them. This is one of my favorite things to do. The unboxing of the CMF still did really well. I hope this does too. But with that said, I will see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome. Light! Light! Light, 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 light,